Hello everybody and welcome to Karen's Stamp Pump. My apologies, I am a little late today. I have been running around trying to get everything prepped. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Today I wanted to uh, just go over the fact that um, we have still some uh, last minute items, uh, last chance items, and uh, things that are on the retiring list, you might want to grab before the end of December. And um, uh, also in starting January 4th, we have a new mini catalog coming out as well as celebration. And uh, that means if you want to uh, get some products, for every out of the new catalog or even out of the the annual catalog which is still good um, you can get for every sixty dollars that you spend uh, before shipping and taxes you can get a, a level one celebration item if you spend hundred and twenty dollars you can get two level ones or you can get a, a level two celebration item and uh, there are some really cute ones I can't show you right now but uh, if you go to my web page uh, if you don't have a catalog you can have a look as of January 4th so um, anyway I, I'm going to give you a sneak peek today at the honeybee home uh, clean stamp set and dies that uh, will be in the new catalog. So I was just playing around last night and uh, trying to come up with uh, just a couple of ideas here. So um, these are the, the cards that we are going to make. This is the stamp set and I'm going to put that aside. It comes, if you get the suite, uh, it comes with an embossing folder, the honeycomb embossing folder. Um, and uh, some uh, di a die set that uh, has some things you'll see as I use them. Um, so let's just get started. I'm going to move these to the side. And okay, so oh, I'm, I've pre cut some. Let's just start. I'm going to start with this one. So what I've done is I've got a piece of cinnamon cider and it is a five and a half by um, four and a quarter. So I'm going to do it. Oh, let's see. Do we want to change things up a bit? No, I've cut the paper this way. So <clears throat> I'm going to put it like this. I have also cut the same, or this piece of paper is actually um, a quarter of an inch smaller, so this would be five and a quarter by, uh, by four. And I cut a piece of, so this is cinnamon cider, and uh, I've cut a piece of pale papaya, which is in the, um, the color, color scheme for the, the designer series paper. And I have embossed it with the honeycomb folder, I have used my stitched rectangle dies and I have cut it out sort of on an angle. I've cut out one of the, the rectangles <clears throat> and I have glued it on. So this piece is the same size as the uh, cinnamon cider cardstock at uh, five and a half by four and a quarter. And I don't know. I had a piece of, <laughs> in my haste, oh, there it is, look at that. <clears throat> I'm also using some uh, vellum, and I have a piece cut out. Now this is really, when you lay it down, you can't see it, so I cut it out. I think I want it a little bit smaller. What I could do as well, is <laughs> me and my shaker cards. I could make a shaker card out of this, even using the uh, the vellum instead of a window sheet. So, do we want to do that? 
and you don't have to put anything in. It doesn't even have to be a shaker card. It could just be a, a window card looking in. You know, I think, I think I'm going to do that. So let me just grab a window sheet. And I'm going to cut it down to, I want it just a little bit smaller than that piece, so it's going to be four inches by five and a quarter. I'm going to make it a little bit different than the other one, so here's my cut piece and I can glue that on the back. Let's just see what it may look like. So I pre-cut some of the and pre-cut um, or die cut should I say my flowers etc. Hmm. So, you know, I think I'm just going to stick to what I had. <laughs> I don't want to pop it up. I like the uh, sort of the muted look. So I'm going to cut down this piece of vellum just slightly so it doesn't take over the whole opening. All right, so let me just show you. I didn't show you the uh, designer series mm -hmm. paper. Maybe I won't. <clears throat> I don't know how much I'm allowed to show. So um, in the in the colors we have basic gray, some cinnamon sour, fresh freesia, garden green, misty moonlight, pale papaya, and white. Now I'm not a huge fan of garden green of all the greens that's my least favorite <clears throat> so I love the soft succulent and the evening evergreen so I'm going to be pulling in those and you'll see that that it actually doesn't uh, doesn't look too bad it looks pretty good um, so let's just start so I am going to start by adhering this. I'm going to use my tape runner, so my stamp and seal. <clears throat> Make sure you get your beads in the right, the right way or they'll be flying upside down. Okay. to use my tape runner. Let's see. Get in the screen. <laughs> really sticky. <clears throat> so the one thing about this stuff is once you put it down, it's on there. So try to get it right. It doesn't give you any uh, room for error. Perfect. Okay, so there we have that. Now I am going to take my piece of vellum and I'm going to put it in here. Draw my I'm just going to put it that way. Okay, so I'm the thing is uh, with vellum, if you use uh, glue on the back, you are going to see through it. So always put it where you can hide it. But I have a small piece of the honeycomb uh, embossed paper that I'm going to put over top before I put on my flowers. I am, 
I still have to color them. So I've got my pale papaya. And you're going to see how easy it is to use these blends. Okay, let's just move this out of the way. Now, I've stamped with Memento ink. And I'm just using this to quickly color in with the light. Now I could have started with the dark and just uh, put that sort of in the accent places. But <clears throat> I am going to do that now. I'm going to use the smaller end so I can have more control over where I put it. You'll see the dark in the um, in the stamp set, so it shows you where you can put the uh, the darker color, the shading. So, and then I'm going to take my light pale papaya again, and I'm just going to go over it and blend that in. And this is why they call it a blend. So it just has a little bit more accent on it. I'm going to use, because this has no green in this, I don't have to worry about matching up my greens and using the, uh, the garden green. I wanted to have this done so you didn't have to watch me color, but <clears throat> there we go. Okay. Change it up a little bit and I will use This flower instead. So as I do this, I hope everybody had an amazing Christmas. We really enjoyed ourselves here and had a, <laughs> a ton of food. So Christmas Eve, I like to uh, have seafood. And uh, I believe last year we had scallops and mussels and crab and, oh boy, a ton of stuff. But anyway, it seems that only my husband and I are eating it. <clears throat> the girls don't like it. Um, my little guy does. He'll have a little bit. But anyway, so... This year, I didn't go all out and get scallops and mussels as well, but I certainly got enough crab for for uh, three of us. My daughter was here. And, um, yeah, so uh, needless to say, and then my husband, my, <laughs> my husband uh, smoked some ribs and made some... Uh, Oh, what did we make? It was some uh, another dish. We had more food, so I spent three days eating crab, and I loved every minute of it. It's like, you know, eating it for breakfast, eating it for lunch, snack, dinner, and uh, yeah, so they were big crab, and uh, my husband and my daughter were not feeling like eating it, so guess what? I had three huge crab to myself, and I think between the two of them, no, I don't even think she had any, but my husband had half one, so yeah, I was in heaven, <clears throat> but then we had turkey dinner too, 
on Christmas Day, so I did eat that. <clears throat> okay. Almost done coloring this. And I have a few beads that I'm going to put on too. So there are three different uh, beads in the set. <clears throat> so let's do this. Mm. I didn't get an awful lot of time over the holidays to play. I don't know what that's like. <clears throat> Cleaning up after Christmas and Okay, so I'm using the cinnamon cider. I'm using the pale papaya on my bumblebees. And I am using an ivory stamp and blend, which I think really lends itself to a bee. Now this is just a rush job here. So <clears throat> let's attach everything. I'm going to just use the tape runner to put vellum on. You can see when you push it down, you can <clears throat> see the uh, the glue, but that's okay. We're going to cover it up. <clears throat> and I'm just going to put this on an angle. Yeah. That under there. <clears throat> now what I have done is also I I have die cut out the flower, but I I did uh, it's an evening evergreen in behind so that it just kind of pops. Otherwise, it's got too much of the pale papaya and the cinnamon cider. Everything kind of gets washed out. So just a little pop of color. I'm going to use this. Stamp instead of the other one. Or the uh, two of the same, I should say. I'll save this for the second card. So, now it's just a matter of gluing everything down. And I think I'm going to use my liquid glue because I've got this all tucked in under there. Just a little bit of glue on here. There we go. <clears throat> That'll take a minute to adhere, let it dry. Okay. Now I have my beads.
around. I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to put them up here. Now, the other ones I. Because I still need to stamp my sentiment. on some rhinestones. So the rhinestones that I used in the other card, which I'll pull out, <clears throat> are these champagne, um, champagne rhinestone basic jewels. <clears throat> and I think they go well with the cinnamon cider. So now what I've done with this piece of um, honeycomb, which I forgot to mention, was I had taken my paper snips and I roughed up the edges <clears throat> just to kind of give it a more rustic look, I guess. So let's stamp a sentiment. And, hmm, let's do, Best of luck. piece of white. Sorry, thinking. <laughs> what do I want to do? So, <clears throat> I did it in black last time. I'm going to try the cinnamon side of this time and just see. Yeah. <clears throat> I like that one. And I'm going to use one of my punches just to help light. There we go. I'm going to take a piece of cinnamon cider and do exactly the same. Punch <clears throat> and I have my little sponge dauber, and I like to just kind of outline. That all right, glue it down. And I think I'm going to pop this up with a couple of dimensionals. And then we can put our accessories on. All right. I don't know. I might even go with another one. Yeah, I'll leave that for now. Put some jewels on and we're finished with that one. <clears throat> and the other one will come together really quick and easy. Okay, there you go. There's our first card done. All right, the second one we're just going to use uh, a couple of things. I'm 
Yeah. So the big decision here is, so this is, this is uh, one of the, um, the other, uh, the designer series paper. And like I said, it's got the garden green in it. But as you can tell, if I was going to go with the evening evergreen, you're not going to really notice the difference. But it kind of makes the uh, pale papaya pop. Now, my other one, I put it on here. Now I've got so many, you know, that looks so... Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, uh, I won't say bland. I mean, it looks good with it, with that, but I think, uh, <laughs> hi, Jenny. <laughs> God, girl, I miss you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> <clears throat> So I think we'll we'll change it up. We'll use the uh, the evening evergreen. So again, that's five and a half by four and a quarter. You know, we're just going to use the tape runner. Where my space here? Get. All right. So this is this is a quick and easy one for anybody who who really. Is just starting out stamping. It's all okay. We'll get that out of the way, and I have another piece of the honeycomb uh, embossed. Cardstock in pale papaya and cut out with my stitched rectangle dies. And then we just put it together. We've already colored this. I've got some garden green to put behind that. I should color another couple of bees, I think. We'll use those lens. Okay, my white salmon cider, my ivory, and my pale papaya. As you can see, coloring is takes probably the most time. A lot of people just love coloring with the Stampin' Blends and spend all their time doing that. It is kind of soothing. All right. Blend that in, and we are done with that. Okay. So. <clears throat> I'm also going to, I think on the other card, I used some pale papaya ribbon. I've got some beautiful evening evergreen. I think we make it stand out. So if anyone is interested in getting some Stampin' Up! product, I am putting
getting together a games night. I'm not sure of the date just yet, but uh, we'll play some different games. I'm thinking trivia, boning up on your Stampin' Up! products. <laughs> And, uh, you know, a couple of not your non-traditional, non-traditional bingo. So not with bingo cards, but uh, picking your own numbers. And that kind of thing. And stamping. Doing a few, few cards in between and door prizes and uh, yeah so if you are interested let me know <clears throat> and I will let you know what date I come up with okay Now, I do have some there we go. Hmm. I had some pieces cut out in a cinnamon cider that I wanted to put on here. And I seem to have misplaced them. So I can choose not to put it on or cut some more. All right. I think I'll just glue that down. So I'm going to pull out my glue dots so that you can't see the ribbon or can't see glue on the ribbon, should I say. That might be like I had it on <laughs> my ribbon and not my fingers. I'm going to put, put a second one on, really hold it down. There we go. Good. And there we have <clears throat> that. And again, we just uh, need to put on a sentiment if you want. If not, you can put something on the inside. No, I think, uh, I think maybe I might send this to my mother and um, there is a stamp that says so glad we're family and I will do the inside and put it on the inside. So let's just clean this up. So that's it. Our two cards that we have made today <clears throat> and uh, you know if um, if you want any product before it retires go to my uh, Stampin' Up! webpage and um, use the hostess code for December and if um, if you want to wait and get this Honeybee Home or any of the new stuff in the new catalog, I will have a January host code come out for January. So anyway, um, I hope everybody has a happy new year. And uh, yeah, tomorrow's New Year's Eve. So uh, let me know what you have planned and, and uh, how it goes. So I will see you 
<laughs> in the new year. And like I said, on, on January 4th, so that's Tuesday, the new catalog comes out. All right. Bye for now.